In today's video, I'm so excited because I'm gonna show you guys how to create this Dollar Tree DIY Christmas gift on a budget. And I would also like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. If that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. Okay, friends, I'm so excited to show you guys this project. So we're going to start off with these two signs from Dollar Tree that I got at Valentine's last year, and I attached them together with some large popsicle sticks and some hot glue. To cover up the holes, I just cut up the tag and then glued them down as well. That way, when we cover up the holes with the lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree, then they have something to hold them in, and it's not going to come through to the back. Once I had the spackling covering the holes, then I dried it with my heat tool and sanded that down smooth. Because this is a gift and I didn't want the back looking all nasty or wonky, you want it to look professional. So all I did was take a roll of brown paper from Dollar Tree, I measured that out, cut it, and then I glued that down to the back with some hot glue. Now I am just like you guys, I make mistakes as well, and I kind of glued this sideways. So when I went to cover the entire back, um, because I glued it sideways, a piece on the side was showing. So all I did was cut an extra piece and then glue that down to cover that as well. If y'all want to see a different version of this DIY, I'll link that in the cards in the right hand corner. Once the back was completely covered, then I flipped it over and I wanted this to just have a cute little design. So I took my painter's tape and, and taped it at the top about two inches from the top. And then at the bottom, I laid down this square piece from Dollar Tree because that is gonna be the side of our box. And then I went a little bit above that and taped that off as well. Once the tape was put on my sign, then I gave it a distress coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. Now if you don't like distressing you can totally give it a good coat or two coats that way none of the backing shows through but I personally like the way that it looks rustic. Once that was finished then I measured the bottom to figure out what size I needed my box to be and I took these pieces from Dollar Tree. I drew a line the width of the sign and then I took the stickers off these wood pieces. Next I stacked them all together and then used my saw which is always linked in my Amazon shop down in the description box below and I'll also link it in the pinned comment for you but I take those outside cut those down and then I also take a small square dowel rod once again linked in my Amazon shop and I just roughly measure and then cut out four pieces to go on either side of these squares so like I said four all together and what that's going to do is give you a nice space to glue to your other wood pieces now for the pieces that we cut down I use some large popsicle sticks to glue them together. However, be careful. Y'all can see here that I totally burnt myself and I'm okay, but just be really careful when working with hot glue. Like I said, to attach this together, I just used my large popsicle sticks and some hot glue and laid those on the back. And then I took my square pieces that we just glued the dowel rods to and glued that to the front piece of our box. Now, I only used hot glue, but I definitely recommend to use a mixture of wood glue and hot glue. The wood glue is gonna ensure that your hold is going to last and the hot glue is gonna help it set up really quickly. Once I had the sides on my box, then I take my large popsicle or my large stir sticks and I just kind of measure out how big I need it for the bottom of my box. I also see how many I need, which I needed four all together. And then I mark that. I uh, tape them together and then cut them down. The reason I tape them together was that way when I cut it, you have a nice even cut all the way through each piece. I then use my hot glue to attach those pieces to the bottom. And once again, I definitely recommend a mixture of wood glue and hot glue. Once I had all of my pieces glued down, then I'm going to use my Dixie Belle Voodoo Stain to stain the entire box after I sanded the edges down smooth. Now 
Now you can totally stain the inside if you would like, but I knew that you would not be able to see it, so I did not worry about that. But once my box was completely dry, then I just used some hot glue once again to glue that down to the bottom of our sign. Now I'm gonna take these trees from Dollar Tree. Originally I was gonna use two, but I only ended up using one. I take it out of the box and put the little stand on there. Next, I just fluff it out. And if you guys have ever seen these Dollar Tree trees, they're pretty sparse, but I mean, really, what do you expect for $1.25? And really, I got these last year when the price was only a dollar. So what do you expect for a dollar or a dollar twenty-five? So I just take these ties from Dollar Tree, these garland ties, and some of them I just bend in the middle and then I put that at the bottom and then I twist it around to fill in the empty spots. As you go up the tree, you're gonna cut pieces like medium and then small. That way you can follow the pattern of how the top of the tree is shorter and the bottom is longer, if that makes any sense at all. But you guys can see what I'm doing here. I sped this up really fast so you can see what I did with mine. That way, if you have trouble, then you can just refer back to the video. I set this the tree aside and I cut the handles off my stir sticks and glued them together. Then I glued it to the bottom middle of my box. That way the tree kind of sits up out of the box. I didn't want the tree like down into the box. So I just glued that down and then I also cut the ends off of the legs and then hot glued that to the stir sticks that I just glued down. That, and I forgot to mention that I did kind of push up the back because the sign in the back is flat. So I did push up the back and then I took some paper towels to fill in the box. And then I also put some lights down there as well. I get my lights off Amazon. They're super cheap. They come in a big pack. And I believe they were like 12 bucks for maybe 12 of them, maybe 15 for 12. Don't quote me all, but I will link my Amazon shop in the right hand corner as well as in the pinned comment in the description box, like I said. So you can totally use two strands of lights, but I didn't feel it was necessary. So I put some of the lights at the bottom of the box and then I put some lights on the tree. Now I should have did that in reverse, started with the end of the light to the top of the tree and then came down with the lights on the bottom. But sometimes I work backwards. You guys think I'm like a perfect crafter and y'all, I make so many mistakes. It's not even funny. So that's why I just always encourage you guys to try things that you might be afraid of because I guarantee you more of you can do it than you think. But anyway, so once I had my lights all where I wanted them, then I had this extra bag of fluff. I can't remember where it came from, but I put the fluff at the bottom over the lights so that way you can't see it. And then I also took some white Waverly chalk paint and I painted my tree to look like snow. Next, I take this ribbon light from Dollar Tree. Look how gorgeous they are. This is a new item. I have never seen ribbon lights at Dollar Tree. Have you guys? Let me know down in the comments. But I arrange my ribbon lights. And then for decorations, I took these wooden stars from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of, I believe, 12 or 15. Don't quote me once again. But to color them, all I did was take my chip brush linked down in my Amazon shop and I just dabbed it in my gold chalk paste and dabbed it all over the stars and then glued little jute hangers to the back. And then for decoration in the front, I took this ornament deer head from Dollar Tree, glued that to the front, and then I arranged my stars on the tree where I saw fit. Next, I take some berries off of a pick from Dollar Tree and just kind of shove those in where the empty spots were. And then I measure my sign. That way, when I go to make the image, I can make the perfect cut. Next, I made a simple little ribbon with this white and red buffalo check ribbon that I got at Walmart. And I glue that to the top of my tree. And then I also made like five or six smaller red and white buffalo check ribbons to go around the tree and glued those down as well so you guys I was like done after the berries and then I put the bows on and then I figured that it needed jute bows as well if you guys need a bow tutorial 
I will leave that in the cards in the right hand corner. That way you can see how to make 11 easy bows with Dollar Tree items as well. So now we're gonna cut the image. That is why I measured my sign. So I'm gonna go into Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna open up the canvas and then I'm gonna search images. I'm gonna type in Christmas. And then when I found the images that I liked, and I do believe I had to go back and type in farm fresh Christmas trees or something like that. So I just typed that in and went to the images that I liked because there wasn't just one that I liked. I wanted to combine this, which is super easy. Let me show you how to do that. You're going to insert a square into your canvas and that is in the left hand corner where you see shapes then you're going to unlock that kind of in the middle where the sizing is and then you're going to type in the exact sizing that you need that's going to allow you to see your project and you can arrange the wording on your project essentially once you have it exactly how you want it then you can drag that shape from the back delete it you can take your cursor and select the entire image and you're going to attach that together that way when you cut it it's going to cut as one if you don't do that the Cricut will kind of arrange it that way it can use the least material possible once I have it exactly how I want it, then I click save in the right hand corner and then I save it to my desktop or my Cricut design space. That way I can use my phone with my machine. So I just pulled out my machine. Look how absolutely gorgeous this bag is. You can find this on Cricut.com. And my Cricut Maker 3 is amazing because it literally cuts over 300 materials. The smart tool enables you to switch out 13 different tools to cut, draw, score, deboss. You can even engrave with this machine. You can foil. There are so many items to choose from and materials that you can cut. My favorite is the matless cutting feature. Before when you would have to switch out the mats, it literally drove me nuts. And now with the matless cutting, it saves so much time and money by cutting multiple projects at once. Y'all, this thing literally cuts 12 feet at a time. Okay friends, now I'm gonna show you why we saved it onto Design Space. So I go to my phone and type in Cricut and pull up Design Space. And once I sign in in the right hand corner at the bottom, I just click projects and then I open up the project we just saved. Next, I'm gonna go to my Bluetooth to make sure that my Maker 3 is connected to my phone. And then I go back to Design Space and follow the prompts on the screen. It should look a little something like this. You're going to select the material that we're using. So in this case, we're going to select the permanent smart material then I click go on the machine and watch how fast this thing cuts so not only can you cut really big projects but this machine also cuts two times faster which is another favorite because I don't know about you guys but I'm a super busy mom I don't have a whole lot of time so the fact that it cuts much quicker also saves time and money as well once my project is cut, then all I have to do is just use my weeding tool to weed out all of the dead space. And then I'm going to use my transfer tape to transfer this onto my project. Now I found a new trick, you guys. This smart material, because the backing is so thick, that is why if you ever have trouble getting it onto your transfer tape, that is the reason for it. So I found that if I use this plastic um, utility knife, that's what it's called. This plastic utility knife, actually one of you guys sent this to me. Thank you, Jara, I appreciate it. It works so good. But if you um, use that to burnish this on the back and the front, it comes off onto your transfer tape much, much easier. I then just lay it out to see where I wanted the placement. And once I was satisfied, then I put it on my sign. And the easiest way to get your vinyl to stick to your project is to pull back your transfer tape and you have to pull it back so that it's flat with the sign, if that makes sense. That was it, you guys. Look how gorgeous this gift 
gift is. I would be so excited and so grateful if somebody gifted this to me. I don't know about you guys, but not only did it take time, but it also took your love to make it. And that is really special to me when giving and receiving gifts. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of this project. I'm so excited for you guys to make this. If you guys do, tag me on Instagram or TikTok. I would love to see your recreations. Also, let me know down in the comments, would you leave the tree exactly like I did or would you change it up, put something different? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you Cricut for sponsoring today's video. You guys in here and the sponsors really, really help our channels to keep going. And I just want you to know how much I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. If you guys need any info on ketones or chalk or just to say hi, text my number. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget about the giveaway I have going on in my last video. Go check that out if you don't know what I'm talking about. If nobody has told you today, you're absolutely stunning. You're worthy. You're amazing. You literally can do anything you set your mind to. I love y'all so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.